Mario, we need to talk because <laughs> what? Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis. If you are new here, hey. Hey, happy 2023. I cannot believe it is 2023. Like what the, like what? I literally cannot believe it's 2023. Happy New Year to you and your family. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Um, but for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Makeup by Mario foundation. I, listen, I got some things to say about this foundation. So if you wanna hear what I gotta say, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and keep on watching. You can't be for real. Um, okay, so baby, let's get into it, okay? This is what the girls are raving about. I've seen so many people talking about this foundation and I'm like, what's tea? What's tea? I wanna know, tell me, put me in a loop. Have you tried it? Cause I wanna know, all the girls are talking about it and I'm like, I wanna try it. Everybody knows who Mario is. If you have no idea who Makeup by Mario is, he is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and her makeup be beat to the gods all the time. So I wanna look like her. You know what? No, I don't want to look like her. I want my makeup to look like her. So I just want to look up a little bit of the specs just so we know what we're dealing with. Okay, so according to the Sephora website, this comes in 30 shades. It is a natural finish, long wearing, liquid formula, medium coverage, and it's hydrating, which is really good because I have dry skin. So it's a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customized with customizable long wearing coverage. So it says apply with a brush. That's what it recommends for a seamless skin like finish. And that's what I'm going for. And you can gradually build it up um, for a fuller coverage and for a more natural coverage, apply with your fingers. Just based on looking at the website, the last two shades, I feel like it go from like dark to like dark deep, like super deep. I feel like there could have been at least like two shades, maybe even one shade right in the middle of that because it goes from like chocolate to like dark, okay? And I feel like there could have been a little bit of like a mix up in there. So, mm, you know, um, so let's go ahead and open it. This does retail for $42, 42 coins and it is one fluid ounce. And this shade, which is, let me open a packaging. Let me take it out the packaging. I like the fact that while it's in the package, it has like this little slit on the side so you can kind of like see the color on the inside. That's kind of cute. I actually like that. And the packaging is very simple. It's super cute. She's pretty. This is what it looks like. I hope that's um, focused. So yeah, so my shade, which is 17 neutral, it just is described as medium with neutral undertones which is me all day long so yeah i'm gonna just start off by prepping my skin just basically with what i normally would do my skin has been so dry this season i don't even know what season is it is it winter i think it's winter yeah or is it fall no it's winter that was a stupid question it's winter for sure i'm using the elf um power grip primer this is a dupe for the um makeup the milk makeup primer and i absolutely love it like you see that stick i absolutely love this primer okay so i'm going to be applying this foundation with my sephora number 56 brush when i worked at sephora this was my favorite brush to use for applying foundation but also i kind of want to apply it with my hands and then like maybe blend it in with a brush Cause I don't really necessarily want like a super full coverage. I'm not really like a full coverage girl, so I don't know. So let's see. I'm gonna start off with just one pump. That looks, one pump, yeah, one pump. Actually, I'm gonna do two pumps and see how that works on my entire face. And the way that I like to put my foundation on, oh, that was probably a lot of foundation. I think that was too much. One pump probably would have been enough. I'm just gonna take it, yeah. One pump for sure would have been enough because look, I still have all this product on the back of my hand. Sir, I'm gonna blend it out with a brush and just see how this goes. So basically what I feel like I'm looking for from this foundation is I'm just looking to see how it makes my skin look. Lately, I have really just been into like a more natural finish foundation. Like I don't really want it to look like a bunch of makeup, you know, like I just want it to look very natural. I want it to look like my skin. I'm not really into the whole like, cake face right now so that's pretty much what i'm looking for to see if that's what it's going to do i've really been into like um something a little bit heavier than like a tinted moisturizer 
Ooh. Okay. So just upon applying it on one side of my face, I still see my blemishes and my acne scars through here. So that alone lets me know that this is not a full coverage foundation right off the back. I know that it says that it's buildable, um, but right off the back, it is not like full coverage. So I'm just gonna blend all of this in. I don't know why I feel like I'm sucking at this review like i don't know it feels very hydrating on the skin like my skin doesn't feel dry which is really good for me personally because like i said i have dry skin already so i don't necessarily want to use a foundation that is drying on my face especially in this weather maybe in summertime i could probably like get away with it you know but not necessarily right now Okay, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. Up close and personal, all in my grill. I look crazy. Um, so yeah, just looking at it, it looks really good. Wow, I need a mirror up close. My desk mirror broke. Are y'all too close? I don't know, let me know. My van, like I had a whole desk mirror, it broke. So now I have to get a new one. But just looking at this foundation just on my skin, my skin looks like skin. I don't know if that makes any sense, but wow. It blends right into my skin. I don't even see it on my skin. It really just looks like I have on like I have on like a really good moisturizer. My skin looks super hydrated. I'm obsessed. And then I just have a little bit left on the back of my hand. So whatever's left, I'm gonna take that and just kind of build it up in my problem areas, which is for me on my cheeks. And I'm just building that up. Oh yeah, this is for sure buildable. Oh my God, it looks so good. Wow, I really feel like I could just wear this foundation just like it is right now and just go throw on and literally just go. So I feel like if you want a more like fuller coverage with this foundation, I definitely recommend two pumps. But if you're just looking for something like supernatural and you don't really wanna wear a lot of foundation, one pump would do you just fine because I was still able to see my natural skin through and it looked like skin. Wow, my skin looks so good. I'm just blending it in just to make sure that everything is blended in super seamless but really i don't even need to do this because my skin looks so good i'm just gonna move right along and just do my normal makeup routine i have a whole bag i have a whole sephora bag of new products but i'm going to film that on a different video because i don't want to try a new foundation and try new products because then what if i don't like the, something what if i don't like something you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna save that for another video so i'm gonna take my fenty matchstick with this same brush and something that i learned about this matchstick is you cannot apply this on top of foundation like straight on the face because it will pick up your product so if you're going to use this after you've applied foundation i recommend using a brush or warming it up on the back of your hand and picking it up with a brush from there because just using this straight on the face over foundation, it will pick up whatever product you already put down. And I really like this color. This is in the shade Truffle. I feel like it's like my perfect, like sun-kissed color. So I'm just applying this all over. I have an oval face shape, so I really only apply it here. Technically, I shouldn't even be applying um, product in the center of my forehead. It should just be like on the temples and on the cheeks. But anyways, I have a whole detailed video on my channel all about how to highlight for your face. So if you wanna see that, I will leave it linked for you guys. And I'm just doing this. It's blending so well with the foundation. Oh my God. <gasps> I'm literally obsessed. This foundation so far, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, I 100% recommend. Like I'm obsessed, it's so good. And then I'm just gonna take some right down my nose. I'll fix it up later and right in like my crease area. I really love like a really good like bronzed sun-kissed foundation or just a look, you know? Like, uh, I just, it just looks so good. 
and to think that I was going to return this product. I was really thinking in my head, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. But I was really thinking in my head, like, I'm going to use this product and then return it to Sephora because I know it's going to be a normal foundation that I've already tried. whoop de doo I actually might keep it. Might keep it. Fun fact, you guys, when I first started doing YouTube, first started doing makeup videos, I didn't really have a lot of money to just be like buying new products every time something launched. You know what I'm saying? So what I would do is I would get cash. I would go to the store, go to Sephora, Ulta, whatever it is that I needed. I would buy the product, review it, and then return it and buy something else to review on my channel. That way I wasn't, um, you know, spending a lot of money that I did not have on product. So if you are new to the makeup game and you want to start doing makeup, but you feel like it's expensive and you don't really want to spend a lot of money on makeup on YouTube, that is a trick that I used to do and it worked out. Some of my most um, popular videos are from when I did that. So yeah, my skin looks so good. Wow, wow. I hate when I wear a wig and it make my ears flip up like this. I can't stand that. It just makes it look like I'm wearing a wig. Ugh, I hate that so much. Oh, by the way, I just went in with the um, Too Faced Multi Sculpt Concealer in the shade Sand. Love this, hands down literally holy grail holy grail i'm gonna go in with this um nyx plump finishing spray uh, this is a setting spray and i'm going to spray this just to kind of like help set my face in place a little bit more i typically like to blend my concealer out with the morphe m510 brush so i think i'm going to do that and then i can just like you know smooth it out and everything with my sponge don't use this brush because the bristles come out like crazy or maybe I've just had it for a long time and it's just time for a new one, but the bristles on this brush are no bueno. Do not, don't, don't buy this brush. So I'm just blending that out. So something that I like to look for when I'm trying like new products is I like to see how it blends with my normal products that I use. And so far this is like giving skin like my skin looks amazing. It feels amazing. It just looks like wet skin, if you ask me. I'm obsessed. This foundation is so good. Like, y'all did that. Y'all did that. I'm just gonna take some setting powder. I'm using the Cody Airspun. I'm literally, y'all see that? Girl, out of the powder, okay? out of the powder it is pretty much gone at this point and i'm taking my morphe m438 brush i'm gonna go in with my bronzer and just kind of warm up the skin I feel like this is like my favorite part of like my makeup routine. It's like adding bronzer, warming up the skin, bringing life back to the party, you know? It's literally the best. I feel like this is a step where I'm like, okay, I'm starting to see it come back to life. <laughs> so I'm just going in, making sure that I get it on those cheekbones. And then making sure I do my nose. I'm really like a messy contour bronzer type of person. I don't really do all the extra than uh, extra snatching and stuff. I'm just not that person, you know? I like to keep it very simple and just, I, I, I don't know, for some reason I'm just, I love the like messy contour look. This blush by, um, Becca, I know that the brand is discontinued, but I actually was able to stock up on a lot of stuff before the brand discontinued. But this blush in the color Maui Nights, baby. Obsessed. It's so good. It's been my favorite blush for a couple of years, actually. So I'm sad. I really shouldn't even be using this on an everyday basis because what am I going to do when I run out? Like, what am I going to do? Okay, you guys, so I went off camera and I finished up my makeup, just added some lashes and did my lips. 
and it is currently 2 30 and i want to do a wear test on this foundation so far my thoughts are i love the foundation it's super lightweight i don't feel like i have a lot of makeup on my skin even though i feel like i have on a full face it really doesn't feel like i have anything on at all my skin feels very breathable it feels lightweight it doesn't feel dry or cakey or anything like that and i absolutely love that I feel like it's important for me to have these fillings because I do have super dry skin. So any foundation that's even slightly, okay, too dry, too matte for my skin, it just does not work. But so far, I'm actually loving this foundation. My skin is skinny. Face card never declining. With this foundation? Wow.